problem determine the resultant and location of the resultant for the following four system okay this is non concurrent coplanar force system okay so because forces is acted at different point so that's why it is non concurrent coplanar force system okay so first of all calculate the resultant of this force write down solution first step it will be calculate the resultant of the forces first calculate resultant of force resultant of force resultant of force okay so all forces it is acted only on vertical direction that's why algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces it will be here zero so summation fx is equal to it is zero here okay because there is no any force acted on horizontal axis okay so now summation fy sum of all the vertical forces that is summation fy is equal to now calculate summation of y algebraic sum of all the vertical forces summation of y is equal to so here when the force it is going there will be assumption when the force it is going upward direction it will be take positive the direction of force it is in upward then it will be take positive okay if the direction of force it is in downward direction then it will be take negative okay the direction of force it is in downward direction then it will be take negative so summation of y so first at a it will be 200 newton it is direction this one it is in downward direction so it will be minus 200 okay then 500 it is second force 500 it is going upward direction so plus 500 then 350 it is going again downward direction so minus 350 then plus 150 it is going upward direction Okay, 150. Then plus 200, it is going also upward direction. Okay, so from this it will be at summation of F y is equal to summation of F y is equal to summation of F y is equal to summation of F y is equal to. Okay, so minus 200 plus 500 minus 350 then plus 150 plus 200. So it will be. 300 newton so r is equal to it is 300 newton newton okay so actually here only it is acted horizontal forces that resultant it will be get r is equal to it will be root of summation fx square plus summation fy square okay root of summation fx square plus summation fy square root of summation summation of fx square Summation of f x square, f x square, then plus plus summation of f y square, plus summation of f y square, summation of f y square, summation of f y. So actually, summation f x is equal to it is zero. We know that summation f x is equal to zero. That means R is equal to it is F y. R is equal to it is F y. That is equal to it is three hundred newton. So resultant it is three hundred newton. Okay. So we got positive means it will be in upward direction. Okay. So second question it is location of resultant. Okay. Location of resultant. So we need to calculate location of resultant. So for that we need to calculate moment at point A. Moment at point A. Moment at point A. Okay, so we'll take moment at point A. So we'll take moment here. Okay, so M A is equal to moment at A. M A is equal to M A is equal to. Okay, summation of M A. You can say it will be summation of M A. Moment at A is equal. Algebraic sum of moment at A is equal to. So here it will be assumption. When the clockwise moment, it will be take negative. When moment it is be. Clockwise direction, then it will be take negative. Okay, if the moment it is in anti-clockwise direction, then it will be take negative. Sorry, when it is anti-clockwise, it will be take positive. For clockwise, it will be take negative. For anti-clockwise, it will be take positive. 
okay okay so first of all this 500 newton 500 newton how it is rotating here it will be rotating how it is rotating it will be anti clockwise direction so moment means what force into perpendicular distance moment it is force into perpendicular distance so force it, it is 500 newton 500 newton and perpendicular distance it is 3 meter okay and second it will be 350 so 350 how it is rotating 350 is here 350 it will be rotating clockwise direction okay so direction it is in clockwise direction so it will be negative negative minus 350 350 into perpendicular distance it is 3 plus 4.5 so 4 plus 3 it is 7.5 meter 7.5 meter okay then third one it is third one it is that is 350 so 350 how it is rotating 350 is here 350 it will be also in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction we have taken here positive so plus 150 into perpendicular distance it is 3 plus 4.5 plus 2.5 3 plus 4.5 plus 2.5 it will be 10 meter 10 meter okay and last one it is also 200 so this one it is also clockwise direction okay so plus 200 it is in sorry anti clockwise direction 200 rotation it is anti clockwise direction 200 into the so perpendicular distance it is 3 plus 4.5 plus 2.5 plus 2 it will be 12 meter. 12 okay till you get summation of ma is equal to moment at a 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 is equal to so 500 into 3 then minus 350 into 7.5 then plus 150 into 10 then plus 200 into 12 so it will be 2775 2775 newton meter newton meter give me anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction okay it is anti clockwise direction okay so we are considering anti clockwise it is positive that's why moment it is anti clockwise direction now location of third one it is location of movement location of resultant location of resultant location of resultant location of resultant location of result so for that just assume location it is so resultant we have got positive so positive means direction of resultant it is in upward direction here this one it is upward direction so just locate it is here okay just locate this one it is resultant r is equal to r is equal to it is 300 newton 300 newton okay so just assume location it is from a it is just assume from a it is just d distance okay d small d distance okay so we need to calculate location of resultant so apply apply where ignores theorem where ignores where ignores theorem where ignores theorem okay so for that summation of ma is equal to so what it says where ignores summation of moment at a is equal to moment at a is equal to is equal to moment at moment at a for resultant moment at a for result moment at a for result okay so this one it is moment at a for result okay moment at a for result so first of all moment at a we know that what is moment at a it is moment at a it is two seven seven five two seven seven five so it is rotating about the it is anti clockwise direction so we are taken anti clockwise it will be positive so 300 into 300 into perpendicular distance it is d we are just assume it is d so d is equal to distance location of resultant distance we'll get from this 
location of result and distance. 2775 divided by 300. So it will be 9.25 meter. 9.25 meter. Okay. So where it will be get? 3 plus 4.5 plus 2.5. So it will be get 350 to 150. Okay. The exact location it will be get. So just draw the exact location. So location of resultant this one. Okay. This one it is. R is equal to 300 Newton. So location it is. Location it is. 9.25 meter. Location it is. D is equal to this. 9.25 meter. 9.25 meter. Okay. So this one it is location of result. Okay. So we need to apply here. Apply the Varignos theorem. Summation of MEM. Movement of all this process is equal to movement due to resultant. Okay. So equate these two, so it will be get D distance. Okay. So location of resultant from this relation. Okay. So you get location of resultant from this relation. 